What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again. It is March the 15th of 2011. That can only mean one thing, the release date, Yakuza 4. Um, this is gonna be a video pretty much showing you all the new pickups I've picked up, or I've gotten, I guess. That was kind of redundant. But um, so just a couple of like DVDs, Blu-rays, um, and what I've been playing off of Gamefly lately. Um, and I'm gonna hit up my Goodwill video maybe uh, let's see today's Tuesday maybe like next week maybe about a week from now you'll see you'll see my goodwill pick up um, I just haven't had the time to, to do it yet so without further ado uh, first thing I picked up Yakuza 4 just got back from Best Buy um, guys if you're looking to pick up Yakuza 4 again please I know I've said this with Yakuza 3 please pick this up brand new uh, don't wait for it to get used or cheaper right now Best Buy $39.99 brand new on release day um, $20 off, you can't beat it. It's 40 bucks for a brand new game. I promise you it will be a great game. Um, it just looks absolutely amazing. You know what kind of Yakuza fan I am. So Yakuza 4 was the first thing I picked up today at Best Buy. Um, I had actually pre-ordered it and picked it up. And then when I was there, I was like, you know, let me shop around a bit. So I was looking in the, um, the Blu-rays and um, this is the, the most recent Blu-ray I picked up, but the first of four that I have. I only have four in my collection so far, but I figured I'd share. Uh, first one I picked up, was the movie 21 uh, with Kevin Spacey and it is a blackjack movie. It's the, the story about the MIT students who went to Vegas and uh, made like a whole bunch of money and everything but I liked it. It's a casino type movie which obviously is up my alley and um, it was normally normally $19.99. I got it for $9.99 on Blu-ray. So I figure really, you really can't beat that deal. So the movie 21 I picked that up tonight as well. Um, the other three Blu-rays I've picked up in the past week or two uh, first one up is my favorite Pixar movie of all time, and that is Monsters, Inc. I didn't get any kind of special deal on this. Um, it's actually the three-disc combo. It's got two Blu-rays, which is the, uh, the the movie, and then the second disc is the Blu-ray bonus. And it also has the DVD um, in here as well, which I didn't really need because I have it on DVD, but that was the only one that Walmart had. And I think I got... This was like normal price, I think, but I just really wanted to get it because I, I, I've been wanting to watch this for a while. And... Um, I wanted it on Blu-ray. The Pixar movies look all look better on Blu-ray. So Monsters Inc. was one. Um, then at Walmart also, I picked this one up. It was $9.99 on Blu-ray. It's also $9.99 at Best Buy if you're looking to pick it up. And that is the movie Friday. Now Friday is one of my favorite movies. Um, absolutely hilarious. If you guys haven't checked it out, um, you know, as long as you're cool with like, you know, talk of like, you know, smoking weed and stuff, then you'll be okay with this. If you're cool with that, then you'll love this movie. Um, great, great movie, and for 10 bucks on Blu-ray, you can't beat it. And then the very first Blu-ray in my collection, the first one I picked up, was probably about two, three weeks ago, um, but perfect, perfect choice for me, and that is Rounders. Now, Rounders is uh, one of the best poker movies out there, and as you guys know, I work in a casino, so, um, you know, any kind of gambling movie, uh, the movie Casino, Rounders, 21, any of that kind of stuff is really up my alley, but Rounders is like the movie that got me into poker. Um, and it came out in like 97, I want to say. So this is, this is the, the movie that started me on a poker trail and now I'm a poker room, uh, floor manager. So, or pit boss, whatever you want to call it. So, um, this, this movie was very influential to me, but if you're into poker and you haven't checked this movie out, check that out. So those are, those are the four Blu-rays that I have in my collection so far right here. Um, and most of them I got a deal on Monsters Inc. I didn't, but that was totally worth this, uh, paying full price for uh, and then along the same lines, I, um, I found at Walmart, um, I'm a big fan of Beavis and Butthead, and uh, as you guys know, they had the Mike Judge collection. I picked up volume three of Beavis and Butthead, uh, the Mike Judge collection, that was uh, $13.99 at Walmart. And I already, if you remember way back, like a year ago, I, I already had the uh, volume two, the blue, the blue case. This is the red one. Um, and so I figured for $13.99, you couldn't go wrong. And it's like it's like four discs, I think, or something like that. But it's it's all the episodes, a couple of music videos uh, on the bonus disc, everything else. Um, so the only one I was missing, there's three volumes, um, and the only one I was missing was volume one. And I was at Best Buy tonight, and I was like, you know, I'm going to look around, see what's on sale, that kind of stuff. Well, found Beavis and Butthead volume one. And this is actually, if you guys are looking to pick these up, they're $9.99 right now for all three volumes. Well, not for all three, a piece. Uh, $9.99 a piece um, and that was the only one I was missing so for 10 bucks I picked up the volume I was missing so I uh, volume 2 is actually in storage with all my all my other stuff but here's volume 1 and volume 3 I just picked up 
So those are the new, all the new pickups. And of course, the biggest of those pickups being Yakuza 4. I'm, as soon as I finish this video, I'm not even gonna edit this. I'm gonna go bust this game out and then I'll edit the video before I go to bed because um, I just, I cannot wait to play this anymore. It's been a year that I've been waiting for this game. And then uh, really quick, just to hit up my, um, the games I've been playing off of Gamefly, because some people have been asking me and I was really, I was really shocked because like, I usually include this information in my videos, but most people, um, I didn't think most people cared what I was renting. Um, and apparently people do, because I hadn't included this information lately in any of my videos. And people have actually been emailing me and on YouTube and on Xbox Live saying, hey, what have you been renting lately? Like, what should I give a try? And it, it just blows me away that people actually like try games based on what I try and it's just, it blows my mind, but it's really awesome. So um, I promise I'll try to make a better effort to let you guys know what I've been renting. Um, I didn't know it was actually something that people actually wanted to see. So um, right now, as you guys know, I have, a, I have the four game plan on Gamefly. Right now, I only have three games out because I'm waiting on the fourth one. But just to show you what I have out currently, um, this one's going to be going back pretty soon. It's, it's, I have mixed emotions about this, but it is the Dreamcast collection which I talked about maybe like a month or two ago on my channel. Um, I thought it was going to be something really big. Like a collection to me is like Sonic's Genesis collection, like 30 games, right? This has four titles on it. And granted, the titles are decent. Uh, Crazy Taxi is always a good time. Space Channel 5 Part 2, I had never played before, but Pixel Sandwich kind of was like, dude, try that game. It's fun. A lot of fun. Really good game. Sonic Adventure, amazing game. And even, you know what? Sega Bass Fishing. As stupid as it is to choose that as a game on this collection, it was a lot of fun. Like, I actually had a really good time with it. But a collection is not four games. I mean, I guess technically by definition it is, but um, it just really left me with a bad taste in my mouth. Like, I was ready to, like, I, you know, I heard nothing about this game, so I was really stoked to try it out. And then I pop it in and find out all it is is the four Xbox Live games put onto one disc, kind of like the Konami collection and all those. And I'm like where's the draw to buy this or where's the draw to even try this out you know like a lot of us uh, i mean at least on youtube like the collectors have these on dreamcast already like what what draw other than 200 achievement points is there to pick this up so i kind of have mixed emotions about it they you know they did a nice job uh, porting it it does have achievements so that is a plus but it's a collection with four games like that leaves me like with a bad taste in my mouth so um Definitely worth a rent, absolutely worth a rent. Um, definitely worth a buy if you don't have a Dreamcast or don't collect the games for the Dreamcast. If you already have the games for the Dreamcast and you're not like a real achievement whore, I wouldn't bother. So, uh, but Dreamcast collection, um, eh, it's like a 50-50. Um, the next game I picked up, I just, I just got in the mail yesterday and it's been out for a while and I just, I wanted to try it out and that's uh, Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage. Um, if you guys watch the Shark and Pixel Show, we use this on an intro, uh, one of our episodes. Uh, really quick, Shark and Pixel Show, guys, I think uh, may be done. I was talking with Pixel Sandwich um, uh, last night, and uh, he's not feeling it anymore. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like, I mean, my apologies, I'm kind of lacking on this channel as it is, let alone having to keep up two channels. Um, here and there, we may pop something up just, just for the hell of it, but um, as far as regular videos, I think we're pretty much done. So yeah, guys, like I said, no, it's not, not really a joke at, at this point. I know last year I did the April Fool's video and stuff and, um, and my camera's shaking and, um, you know, I said that I was closing down and stuff. This, this one is for real. Um, we just kind of, you know, we, we both just turned 30, like, you know, we're just kind of like not feeling it much anymore. Um, I don't know. So like I said, once in a while, maybe we'll post something up, maybe like game of the year type video or something like that. But, uh, it just got to be too much for, at least for me, keeping up two channels, plus my job, plus my social life, plus, you know, plus actually playing the games I'm talking about. So it got to be a little too much. I'm going to focus solely on this channel. Um, and just a, just a quick little update, uh, pixel sandwich actually will be out here in Pennsylvania visiting me, um, at the end of May, early June. And I will have my camera, and we are going to be going game hunting, and we're we're going to be going just different places and stuff. So I will have some videos up here. I'm not going to be showing his face because that's at his request, and you know that's you know that that's why we never had our faces on the Shark and Pixel show. Um, but we will have some videos posted of like what we what we did over the time he was here, and what games we found and picked up, and all that kind of stuff. And he he'll probably be the cameraman to be honest with you. So his voice is in the video, and then I'll be you know I don't mind my face obviously being in there. So. Um, anyway, that was a little side note. Uh, so look forward to that. So maybe some Shark and Pixel stuff, maybe on my channel. Um, and I may put a video up on Shark and Pixel's channel saying for, for any kind of 
further coverage check on my channel and that kind of stuff so we may just combine efforts and just whatever whenever we do something just kind of post it here instead so like i said i'll keep you updated as far as that's concerned um and then the last game just to wrap this up uh game of the year candidate for me this year i kid you not this game is amazing and i'm really addicted to it that is the blob 2 and I have it on the 360. Um, of course, I play, I play most of my game, my multi-platform games on the 360. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't tried this game, um, at least rent it. Um, maybe wait for it to come down in price if you're, if you're hesitant of spending 60 bucks on it. Um, I didn't buy it because I wasn't sure, and I rented it, and I still have it like a couple weeks later. I have not returned it yet. So um, it is a lot of fun. Definitely, It's definitely in the running for game of the year for me this year. And um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, so yeah, I hit up my Blu-rays, my DVDs, my my recent pickup, brand new pickup, which Yakuza 4. This is this is going to be all you're going to see me. You you will not see me on Xbox anytime soon, with the exception. Forgot to tell you, Homefront. Homefront is in the mail. Uh, that is coming to me. I should have it in the mail tomorrow from GameFly. That's the fourth game that I have out, and um, I probably will be busting that out in between Yakuza sessions. So I have a lot of gaming to do right now. Um, because, I mean, Yakuza 3 I put 40 hours into, give or take. Um, I don't expect anything less from this one. And Homefront, um, I heard it's a quick beat, so you never know. So, uh, But that's it, guys. Um, sorry for the lack of updates. Like I said, Goodwill pickups video. I have the stack put aside so I know what I picked up from there. And I will show you that hopefully in the next week or so. Um, keep, keep tuned to this channel, guys. Kong Off, the Donkey Kong event. Up in North Jersey at Richie Knuckles Arcade this weekend. This weekend, Saturday and Sunday, Richie Knuckles Arcade. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you're probably out of luck. But I just bought all these like extra memory cards and batteries and stuff for this camera so I can bring it along, HD, everything. Kong off this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I will be posting those videos up probably next week, depending on editing time. And that's about it. So, guys, till next week, take care of yourselves. And happy Yakuza to me. And this is AC Car Shark, guys. Take care.